Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. It's Matt Harper with the 212 Degree Team with Kelly Williams Advantage and just coming at you here with this month's market update. Really what's happening in the Denver metro area. So uh, taking a look at some of the statistics, what's going on, um, more homes are coming on the market. Right? Continuing to see an increase uh, in inventory levels. Uh, inventory levels continue to climb, which is really a sign of a decompression phase. So early on in the spring, what we're entering is compression. There are about as many buyers in the market as there are homes on the inventory. Um, what we're seeing happening uh, over the last couple of months is a decompression, meaning that more homes are coming on the market as sellers are looking at uh, putting their home uh, in in the summertime, probably after uh, school let out. Uh, you know, in the traditional hot summer months, uh, real estate-wise, in the Denver metro area. So seeing an increased level on that, um, which again is helping potentially buyers get into um, into their home that they, you know, maybe were struggling with, battling with the market earlier. We're seeing that uh, more inventory coming on. Things are happening a little quicker for them. It's not really a, um, seeing much as far as the reduction in price. In fact, if you were paying attention last month, we were at an average for detached at about 483 uh, for home values for a detached single family home. This month that jumped up 10 grand, we're at 493. Attached, your condos and townhomes saw a bigger jump of about $15,000 over what it was last month. So with the inventory levels continuing to go up, prices are going up, question is, are we in a bubble? Is this thing gonna burst on us or are we at the top? Uh, simply based on supply and demand, it doesn't show that. Right now, um, you know, with give or take about 6,500 homes on the market, uh, we would need about 3,500, or excuse me, 35,000 homes just to balance out the market uh, to where the buyer and the seller, neither one has necessarily an advantage. And we did see a decrease in the average days on market, uh, down from 30 in both attached and detached last month. Um, or excuse me, the month before last month, they're down to 18 days and 17 days in attached um, uh, family homes. Also seeing the flash sales, right, the properties that are going under contract in a week or less, seeing a decrease. That's down to just right about 60%. So if again, if you've been a buyer in the market, it's a good opportunity to take a look at it. It's maybe been on the market for maybe two weeks. Not that there's something wrong with the home. Seller may have just overshot the market a little bit, and maybe they're about to do a price reduction. You might be um, the only buyer that's uh, that's writing an offer. Certainly that can help. So again, appreciate you all tuning in this month for the market update, and we'll uh, we'll catch you guys next month for the what's happening in the Denver metro area. Again, if we can be a help at all in uh, real estate, or maybe it's just a referral, maybe somebody needs to refinance, again, let us know how we can help. Appreciate it. We'll see you. We'll see you guys next month.